their chances at snooker, don't they? They do. So we've lined up a real North London derby for you. Paul Gascoigne, the uh, first £2 million footballer in Britain, gets a one-to-one -one shot against John Lukic, the goalkeeper who uh, has helped to make Arsenal title favourites. Well, that's to come, but let's get down to the serious stuff now. Our eight quarter-finalists are challenging now for the Mecca Bookmakers Trophy and, of course, that £2,500 cheque. Who are they? Well, I'll tell you. Peter Ebden is 18 and lives in Islington. He's a full-time snooker player whose ambition is to turn pro. He won three tournaments last year with his biggest prize, £1,500, in the Westwood Ho tournament. Peter's highest break is 145 in practice, 143 in tournament play. His quarter-final opponent is Tony Holdstock, who at 38 is the oldest player through to this stage, single and a steward from Raynham in Kent, he became the Cockney Classic champion of the Chatham Snooker Club. Tony's yet to win a major tournament, his biggest prize so far, £250 in the Tunbridge Open. His highest break, 120. Brian Morgan is 20 and comes from South Benfleet. He's one of the favourites, having reached the semi-final of the televised stages of the Cockney Classic last year. He's had several major tournament wins, including the World Junior Championship, his biggest cash prize is £2,500, and his highest break, the maximum, 147, wait for it, no fewer than 20 times. Lee Grant is one of five teenagers who've made the quarterfinals. The 17-year-old from Kingston-upon-Thames has just one ambition, to become a snooker pro. He's yet to win a major tournament. His top prize is £600 from a Pro-Am, but he's achieved a maximum 147. Brian Cassidy is 20 and unemployed, concentrating all his time on snooker in the hope of the big breakthrough. He lives in Haringey, and although he's yet to lift a major title, he's won £800 in the Hatton Garden handicap, the highest break of his career, 145. He'll be facing Martin Granger, a 17-year-old trainee club manager from High Wycombe. A Bucks under-21 county player, he's won the Peterborough Open under-17 title, and his top prize is £350 in becoming the Slough Centre champion. The highest break, 134. Peter Delaney heads our last quarter-final. He's 17 and lives in Ballam. He describes his job as a snooker player, and his biggest prize to date is £500 in an event called the Tottenham Graveyard Tournament. The top break so far, 1-1-7. Now, Amri Chima is our last quarter-finalist, and although he's only 18, he's the most experienced player in front of the cameras, no wonder. He reached the Cockney Classic semi-finals last year and the year before, but he was beaten each time. He's from Steve Davis territory, yes, Plumstead, and he's determined to go on better this year. His biggest haul so far is a prize of £300, and the highest break, 1-4-2. Well, that's the lineup then. Let's get on with the first of our quarterfinals. Peter Ebden against Tony Holdstock. Len Ganley to see fair play. And words by the legendary John Pullman. Well, most of them anyway, because guess who's up there in the commentary box with him? Yep, Steve Davis. We join the match with Tony Holdstock to play. No points yet on the board. So the first opportunity for Tony Holdstock. Red into the middle pocket. Cue ball a little close to the cushion for comfort, but should knock this one in. One. And nicely on the pink. Seven. Well, the red close to the black obviously won't go. Well, Eight. That one would, and the cue ball down nicely for the blue. Would have liked to have gone a little further, perhaps. 
can't come back towards the reds now, but there is one sticking out there that he can possibly get on. Thirteen. Fourteen. Well, that couldn't have worked out much better. Nice little kiss on the red. Kept him on the black. And already has built up a 21-point lead now. And still another red that will go. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Thought there that uh, after potting the red, that the angle the white would take would just clip that red he's now touching and uh, roll through for the black. And um, just a misjudgment of the, the angle there. But a good start, Tony. He, he looked very confident, very relaxed. the spider and that's the most awkward implement of all so quite content to just nudge the black stock, 22 and be content with the 22 <laughs> point hold stock added another red but as we rejoin play peter ebden has been given his first opening <sighs> one Well, there's the red on into the top corner pocket. It could come through for the black with that, but the black's not on its spot. It's a little closer to the cushion. So not quite as easy as it might be. He has alternative reds that he could pot. It looks as if he's planning to come back for the blue. Seven. Uh, didn't quite get hold of that. Well, perhaps the pink will go. In which case, he overdid that a little bit. Well, it looks as if it will. Clean as a whistle there and still very nicely 13. in position. The ball's very nicely placed there at the moment. Six reds out in the open. You'll probably be content to concentrate on reds and pinks here. Fourteen. Twenty-one. <coughs> so this pink to go four points in front. <coughs> Twenty-two. 
27. Peter very sensibly composing himself before making his mind up. A lot of nerves here. And uh, this is a very big moment. One frame matches, you can't afford to make too many mistakes. And Peter knows that. He's a quite an experienced match player, having won many tournaments. 28. Yes, yeah, so just looking at the blurb that I have here, uh, Steve, and he's, this season he's won the Webster's Yorkshire Open, the Westwood Ho Tournament, and a Pro-Am at Peckham. So he's not without experience, this young man, although he's only 18 years of age. 34. <coughs> Cutting the red into the middle pocket and I think just uh, playing a plain ball shot would probably give him a result on a colour, one of the ball colours, or possibly back for the blue. Got to decide whether the white ball will cannon into the green. It's the only reason for putting anything other than plain ball on the shot. 35. A long brown into the top pocket. 35. <laughs> Ebden, 12 points in front, but Holdstock patiently pulled that back to lead 42 35, and now it's Ebden back at the table. Foul stroke, four, 20 hole stock. Peter just panicking slightly. He's, he was desperately keen to get a good safety shot in because he's left um, Tony up on the last three or four visits now and um, wants, to, wants to get into the game. It's getting a bit late now. Both players obviously getting very nervous. Three. Uh, he dropped nicely on the brown. He's got the game at his mercy. He's already 14 points in front. This brown will make it 18, and young Peter Ebden can then only draw with the last three colours. Seven. And he appears to be beautifully on the blue, so this would appear to be end of frame. Twelve. And very much against the form guide here. Um, Tony, nowhere near um, as uh, successful in the, the amateur scene as Peter, but um, winning over one frame and winning well. So the winner of the first quarter final is Tony Holstock.